Hello and thank you for this opportunity to talk to you about the upcoming election. My name is Andre Nobbs and I'm a candidate for the 13th Legislative Assembly elections in March. I'm standing as a candidate because I believe in Norfolk Island, I believe in self-government and I believe in the connection we have as a self-governing external territory under the authority of Australia. I'm also of the view that it is time to review our tourism performance. Following the branding and some changes within the Norfolk Island Government Tourist Bureau, it's time to assess what has been effective and what is not so effective. We need to evaluate the group markets, the individual travellers and the experience that we're delivering on, delivering on Norfolk Island, as well as considering, I think at this time, an integration of the Norfolk Island Tourist Bureau and the airline so that resources can be more focused and coordinated to all our benefits. Cruise ships are soon to arrive on Norfolk Island and that will be a different tourist market for us. It will enhance cottage industry opportunities and also provide an alternative to our airborne tourism, which can be sensitive to all manner of fluctuations. In terms of longer term planning, I believe we once again need to use a strategic plan that can guide the government and also guide the community in terms of where we are going in with outcomes and deliverables from our management of our public service. In saying that, the public service management plan should also be reflective of the Norfolk Island Government strategic plan and government business enterprise and program delivery also need to follow that plan with performance budget and program budget. This of course ties with performance based contracts and is a way that we can move forward to ensure that all areas are understanding what they deliver to Norfolk Island and give us some surety in where we're heading in terms of longer term planning. I'm supportive of the task force to evaluate Norfolk Island's taxation and revenue possibilities and that task force needs to be the combined task force of Commonwealth officers and Norfolk officers to evaluate our, evaluate our way forward for the best option for Norfolk Island in terms of sustainability and our community. There are many new and exciting developments for Norfolk Island coming up in the future and I hope to be part of those. Alternative energy is an area that we have put comprehensive effort into over the last three years and some of those areas of development are coming to fruition and will over the next several years be implemented on Norfolk Island. In particular one area that looks to be a pilot project coordinated from Norfolk Island for technical training and assistance. We're also along the line to moving to a stronger e-commerce platform with the introduction of the fibre optic cable. This will enable financial services operations as well as the enhancement of areas such as our online gaming, including the relocation of many facilities and infrastructure that hold those gaming solutions together and of course create new employment on the island. It has been an honour to work for the last 12th Legislative Assembly and I hope to be re-elected so that I can continue to work hard for all of us on Norfolk. I wish all of us the best possible future and I ask for your vote at this election. Thank you.